this is cooking with blockheads and we're going to build a beautiful kitchen like you can see before you today so this is a pretty simple mod that does a lot like it's really simple <laughs> but it, it's really helpful for, for how simple it is it's really good is what i'm trying to say so this is what your kitchen is going to look like now the main feature that i would say is the best thing about cooking with blockheads is it's all connected as one like multi-block and that includes the floor down here so this floor down here is actually you can see it's underneath the counters etc all of these counters the floor the fruit basket the cupboards absolutely everything is all connected meaning they can all access each other's inventories which as we're going to find out in a minute is very very useful now if we go into at blockheads we can see there is multiple kitchen floors you can make which is going to be with a block of quartz and a block of coal like this and then you can use dye with eight of them to make them whatever color you want your kitchen to be we then have the basic kitchen counters etc so we have a sink which is going to provide water to recipes now you put a bucket in there and you can hook pipes up into the back and it will provide as much water as is needed for all of your food recipes then we have the milk jar which is like this and you can put milk in there you can you know pump milk in or you can get a cow in a jar now to get the cow in a jar you're going to put the jar below it a cow on top and then slam it in there with an anvil okay um then we have the toaster which you can make like this and you can basically use this to make toast now you don't physically put the bread into the toaster but what you do is um in the cooking table which is here and you make it like this with the cooking for blockheads 2 book that's actually where you're going to craft all of your recipes okay there is also an oven which can cook items so if you're making something like you know bread that doesn't need cooking or in some mod packs it doesn't need cooking um that's you would use the the, the cooking table anything that actually needs to be physically cooked um would use the oven but you can do that from the cooking table as i said they're all connected and it will send the items to the oven if needed we then have the spice rack and the fruit basket and even though it's a fruit basket you can put anything in here i could put these tea leaves in here and you can see them in there like that now if i went over to my uh cooking table i can then make tea wherever it is in here with that tea leaves or any recipes that take the tea leaves i can then use um anywhere else in the kitchen it's all connected up so the first three things you're going to want to make is the cooking for blockheads one book now you get this by cooking a book in a furnace and this is going to show you food that you can make with the things you have in your inventory so if we go into it you can see here i can make some hot hot tea and a tea leaf seed then what you're going to want to do is make the cooking of a blockheads book two which is using the first one that you've just made with two diamonds and two crafting tables and that one can actually make the hot tea so to clarify the cooking for blockheads one book will actually only show you the recipes you can make with cooking for blockheads the second cooking for blockheads book will actually let you craft them now there is this third one which shows all of the food recipes and you where you make that is by just putting the cooking for blockheads one book into a crafting table and you'll get that one and that will show you all food recipes that are available in the mod pack you are playing to to clarify again here cooking for blockheads doesn't actually add any food recipes you'd need something like pam's harvest craft or farmer's delight to add those recipes for you this just lets you make them in a much easier way now we've looked at the books we've looked at how to make the cooking table which is it here again this is an upgraded version so you go into the cooking table and it shows all the recipes that you have in all the inventories um in your kitchen and what they can make now you can sort it by saturation so if you want to make the most saturating food you would sort it like here you can see there's a ton of saturation on butter and then you can sort by hunger restored the best thing i can make here is a fruity punch and to actually see all of these little um hearts and saturation points on the food that is actually a different mod that does that called apple skin i will leave a link down below to that one that's apple skin without apple skin it doesn't really show you it, you can still sort but you won't really know how much each one is doing and then you can also search by name and you can search um you should be able to search in here but my search bar isn't working 
um, and you can click here and you can see the recipe and then you can click it again and it will make one for you. And that is how the cooking table works. Now, these cupboards, you can put any food, you know, food in, tea leaves, etc. And you can see them opening. And the cool thing is, if I actually put the tea leaves in here, you can see them in there. Did you see that then? It's in there. And you can shift right click to actually keep them open if you want them open like that. Um, and the same in the fridge. I've got some lots of yummy food in the fridge here. You can shift right click that to keep them open if you want. Doesn't make a difference, it's just aesthetical here. And what you can do is you can have certain upgrades. So there is the heating unit, and you shift right click this onto the oven, and it allows to heat an oven using energy. So if you have a mod pack with anything that makes RF, you can have this energy bar here rather than using coal. And what you can also do, for example, I'm using Pam Tarvis Craft is put like a pot, bakeware, skillet, and saucepan into these here, and it'll actually go on top of the oven. So you can put them in any um, any slots, it doesn't matter, and it will show you them on top of the oven like that, and any recipes that actually need those items, you can now make, which is amazing. So it just it uses them. Same over here with the um, tool rack. You can put any rolling pins, etc., on here, and because this counter is here and the tool rack is the one above it, that will actually connect that still. That will still be connected. So these counters up here wouldn't be connected to the kitchen, but because I've put a milk jar in between, now the counters are actually connected to the kitchen. So as long as you have like one counter touching, you know, something in the middle, it's going to connect um, the cupboards up top. And then, you know, you've got your spice rack, but again, you can put anything you want on the spice rack. Um, anything at all they just call it that for fun um and same with the chopping board like this is a um this is a, a cutting board sorry from pams and uh i could just put that on there yeah you've got the sink here you know it all connects up uh the fruit bowl is the exact same thing in the oven you can put food straight in here to cook or you can do it from the cooking table and it will send it like if i um have i got anything i can cook in here like like roasted garlic. If I it says click again to cook, so I keep clicking, and you can see the oven is actually on now. And if I go into the oven, it has automatically sent that garlic straight into that oven. So that's the heating upgrade we went over. The heating unit. The other one is the ice unit. You shift right click this onto the fridge, and it will provide automatically snow and ice to recipes. And then you have the preservation chamber, which prevents the last item of a slot from being used up, and that is also in the fridge because you can put your foods in here, but the fridge has a lot bigger. So if we get a um, preservation chamber and shift right click it onto the fridge like that, um, and then we put in, let's say we've got one, two, three garlic in here. We put free garlic in. Now it should, if I if it works, if I do that, oh, it's using it from there. Right, throw that away, throw that away, get rid of it. It's left one garlic in there, so it, that preservation upgrade will mean that you can sort your fridge, etc., very nicely, um, and you won't it won't use up the last item, so it all stays organised. And that is pretty much it for cooking for blockheads. It is a really really simple mod that does makes your life so much easier for cooking, especially with something like Pam's in. If you're not familiar with the Pam's Harvest Craft mod, you can see here on the right on my JEI just how much food it adds. It is absolutely bonkers. So having something like Cooking for Blockheads installed is, you know, a really, really good way of getting those recipes a lot easier. And it it pairs really nicely with something like Mr. Crashfish's Furniture mod, things like that. It adds a lot more realism to Minecraft and uh, makes it feel a lot more immersive for you. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, make sure to click subscribe if you did enjoy it, if it was helpful. Any comments, if you're stuck on anything, etc., comment down below or join the Discord. We're really helpful and friendly. We'll help you with anything at all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in next week's episode.